What about stage diving, man? It's, it's really fun. Except for the times that girls try and put their finger in my butt, but like... <laughs> okay. I mean, I guess it's all right. It's not bad. It's, uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, let's talk about music, man. Let's talk about music. For sure, that's my favorite subject. Okay. You got a mixtape called Kids, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What does that mean? Um, well, it's an acronym. Oh, well. Yeah, uh, for kicking incredibly dope All right, all right. You know, because right. that's what me and my homies do. Okay. Woo! Woo! Welcome, Mac Miller! Ladies and gentlemen, Mac Miller! Check it out. So, where you're inspired by kids kicking incredibly dope right? Yeah. We were inspired as well, only it was kicking incredibly dumb Hey! Kids! Okay. Someone's in here. This sign says no kicking. Oh. Yo, that's instant karma. The signs have feelings too. Mac, this is the portion of the show where we put together two words and we let Chanel guess what she thinks it might be. You ready, Chanel? Always. Happy box. Oh, man. Hey. Okay. The happy box. Okay. <laughs> um, I think that She's all thinking girls, vagina. She's thinking vagina. All girls that's a joke vagina, vagina, have vagina, happy vagina. boxes, but <laughs> I don't think this clip has to do with that. I feel like it's like maybe a box with like a bunch of people in it, like having a party. I feel like it's like when you take a box and then you take a disco ball and then you go to the record store and pick out random records and then you get all your random friends from Twitter and you have a party in a box. <laughs> and you gotta spend for the next two hours just partying and eating sandwiches together. <laughs> that sounds like a happy box. <laughs> you are from the city of Pittsburgh. Yeah. Let's take a look at what the city of Pittsburgh did for one of their native sons. We are honored to have you as a representative of all the young talent and potential in this city. We bestow upon you this key to the city as a token of appreciation. Congratulations to <laughs> Seth okay. Now, did that key give you any benefit? Yeah, I keep it in my car, so when I get pulled over, I just... Yeah. <laughs> well, License and registration? How about this, mother... <laughs> yeah. and, and you deserve that, you know? Hell no, I didn't deserve that. Oh, yes, you did. <laughs> All right, so you got a new album right now. What's the title and concept, man? It's called uh, Good AM. Conceptually, it's really good. <laughs> <laughs> now, here's what I'm trying to figure out, right? Are you saying good morning, good AM, good... Is there, does AM mean like, and more, <laughs> you know? Well, you know, uh, it's art. Um, and the thing about art is, <laughs> I have an interpretation, but it's really for the people to interpret. So I tell my story and let it inspire like the youth. Okay, <laughs> all right. <laughs> now, when I think about it, I think, you know, this is my next chapter. I'm awakening, Woo! right? right? How's Woo. that feel? How's that feel? Woo. You guys feel that? Yeah. When you feel pain, what do you do? I, I usually like to uh, recite Chingy Holiday Inn in my head. <laughs> <laughs> you want to know what? That probably will work for you. You know what I mean? Okay. This next category is filled with people. The only way they can get away from pain is to run. And it ain't Chingy. <laughs> I wanna get away, I wanna ride with you. Stop it! Get out of here! Get out of here! Get out of here! Get out of here! <laughs> Run! Go! You got it up the butt! <laughs> Alright, a few years ago, you won an award and you received a car. Let's take a look at the exhilaration. Okay, what happened and what inspired this? Well, what happened was, that's obviously a case of you get a new car, okay. and you uh, take it home, and... Are they <laughs> <laughs> I'm not weird or different. No, no. This is what, it said this in the manual, this is what everyone does. <laughs> what does most dope mean to you? Uh, shirts are available right now. Okay. <laughs> okay, so good. Okay, so we know it's a clothing line. Yeah. 
What is the soul of most dope? Affordable clothing for everyone to wear that they can buy as gifts or for themselves. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. <laughs> no, <laughs> it, just, it just means, you know, being the best you you can be. You know what I mean? Okay, like living like in that. the dopest way possible. I like it. Being the most dope available at Zoomies right now. <laughs> what about stage diving, man? It's, it's really fun. Except for the times that girls try and put their finger in my butt, but like... <laughs> okay. I mean, I guess it's all right. It's not bad. It's, <laughs> it goes down. Every time you jump into the crowd, it's a leap of faith. You're right. just hoping that they're all going to hold you up and not finger your booty hole. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? What's that? Hell yeah, I'll stage dive. No, can you just get down? <laughs> no, I'm diving. <laughs> When you go to stage dive, you have to look at the strength of the people that are there. Because one time I just jumped and then, and on the way down, I looked down, I was like, oh, that's what, six 13-year-old girls? And this is not good. And you dropped to the ground? Oh, no, they were like, they, they were straight. <laughs> is that true? I want to go back to a clip from the last time you were on the show. Take a look at this. What about stage diving, man? Stage diving is really fun. Except for the times that girls try and put their finger in my butt, but like... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, it's all right. It's not bad. It's... <laughs> Dude, I'm in my mother's butt right now. <laughs> After this episode came out, there were a lot of stage divers that were like, here, come, I'm, I'm going to be the next booty shotter. But like... <laughs> booty shotter. Booty shotter. Oh, man. It's so real. It's, it's going to so be real. me. <laughs> but I had an incident just recently. I was in a jersey. So I stage dive, and they pull me down, and there's a dude that has my legs spread open. And I was telling him, I was like, I don't know what you think happens next. <laughs> but what you're gonna have to learn to do is protect your hole. Mac Miller, how long you been rapping, man? I'd say um, about six is when I picked up the MIC and wanted to rip on hot beats. Okay, <laughs> all right. Well, I'll tell you what, we have some footage of what we believe is one of your very first raps. Let's take a look at this. Now what you hear is not a test of rapping to the beat. Me, the groom, and my friends are going to try and move their feet. Now I am whirling on, and I like to say hello. Woo! <laughs> uh, you were confident in that era that you knew that one day you were going to be a hip-hop sensation, Yeah, I correct? knew it. Were you a confident kid or a cocky kid? I would say confident, you know, while most kids were thinking about, hey, like, this is my Playmobil. I was like, hey, the meaning of life, reincarnation, like, <laughs> you know? What are you talking about? <laughs> Welcome back to Ridiculousness. Give it up for Mac Miller. I'm, I'm running out of poses, so there can only be, like, one more commercial break. Yeah. <laughs> I thought for sure you were gonna like shoot an arrow at the camera. Well, there's only, it's a timing thing, and okay. I don't want to promote violence. Fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> Let's Thank go you. to something like less violent and more peaceful. We yeah. have some footage of you when you went on vacation trying to do a little jet packing. Take oh, a yeah, look. that was peaceful. Time of my life! Time of my life! Out of control. Out of control. <laughs> Literally, he looks like a dolphin or like a shark, man. He like, couldn't get his finger off the throttle, man. What's happening right here? What had happened was, you see, they didn't start me off far enough into the ocean. And then, like, you got the helmet and just blew out oh, the nose, yeah. man. And that's when I decided to quit my show. Right.